Evening YouTube. Well, not a whole lot has changed. The three bikes I had, I finally got in touch with the guy, the bike guy. He took them. He had no issues picking them up. So that was cool. Oh, hello, Robin. Way up there in the tree. They've been squawking happily a lot lately, too. So not a whole lot has changed except another customer pickup. Brake rotors, upright freezer, TV. He told me it was defumed, so that's good. And my cart finally came in. My new cart, woo, to replace that one. <clears throat> I brought those wheels back that I used on that cart. On that one that broke, blew the bearings out of them. So... And I had ordered a new cart anyways, and it comes with wheels, so that's nice. So I just got to get this opened up, and, uh, yeah, hold that thought. Kind of hard to do with one hand. Go look at the ground for a sec. Look at my pretty blue shoes, see? My cart's blue, my shoes are blue, and I'm almost blue in the face. <laughs> Beautiful day, 75 degrees Fahrenheit out, which would be about 20, uh, 20 to 68, I'd say about 25C, so yeah, awesome, loving it. Wife and I got the mother-in-law situated with her garden and her dirt spread and that, and the wife and I went this afternoon for a bike ride. And then, of course, our bike ride got interrupted because the customer wanted something picked up. So, we're going to disappoint. I've made a lot of customers happy because we showed up right away. So, oh, look at that. It's already damaged. Ah. Well, this is blue boxable. It's a bag. I don't think it's any good for anything. Want to sniff it? Somebody wants to sniff it. He's my bomb checker yeah very breezy but yeah we went on a 20 kilometer bike trip today it would have been longer but uh, well when you get interrupted by a customer what do you expect right so got wheels and they even got air in the tires look at that these are solid rims they're not the bolted on rims and look it's got fenders and it's got an extra piece. This flips forward, makes this plate longer. Not that I'll use it, but hey, it came with it. Well, part of the deal. It's on sale for 30 bucks, or 40 bucks, sorry, 39.99, regular 80 bucks, so half price tag. Oh, that goes right through it, doesn't it? Yeah. Just pull a string here and there or something. Oh, there it is, pull that. Pull my string. <laughs> I was pull my finger. Now this is exciting, eh? Watching me stumble. So, yeah, it's a pretty good day and all. I made made a few bucks, got my money back for the wheels. I paid for this cart. I still had change left over, so that was all right. Mother-in-law was happy with her garden, so and then now they want to get some more plants. So the wife. And the mother-in-law are taking off tomorrow to a nursery to go see what they got out already. I'm not saying they're heavy duty, but how far does that bearing go inside? Looks like it goes in a fair depth. Can we see better that way when the sunlight coming through? There we go. Not road tires. <laughs> no poop. And I didn't know that. We were on our bikes when we were in there. And just thought while, while I was in there returning the uh, tires, thought I'd see if the cart was there, and sure enough, it was there. So, <laughs> well, and I'm on my bike. Might as well put it together and tie it behind. Are these tube tires? I can't tell. Tube type, yep. Yeah. yeah, they are. 
The tube isn't even lined in straight. Look at that. Might have, I hope that ain't too rough on there for the tube. This one isn't even in the right spot either. I'm going to have to let the air out of these and redo them. And, but it is under warranty forever. So, you know how that goes. I don't know how they do it in the U.S. That's that Harbor Freight Company, right? That you guys deal with over in your side. It's the same idea as Princess Auto. Yeah, come on, baby. When you don't want it to break, it breaks real well. When you do want it to break, it don't break at all. Oh, they actually had a little wire on there. Oh, not a very good one. Came off just like that. Okay. So, and see, that comes down like that. This makes it bigger, gives it a bigger foot. As long as it stays up and I don't want it down, so. Yeah. Okay. I'll be back when I got the wheels on. We'll see what it looks like. I've already put you through your misery. Voila! There we have it. See how crooked the wheels roll? Oh, actually roll straight. Good. I like these cards because they're lightweight. And by the sounds of it, we already have this one sold Thursday morning pickup and I have the identical one on there <laughs> so I don't know if there's any extra racks in it and throw it in there with it it's the same one same make same everything just it don't work so yeah I got some brake rotors in there I don't know what's in that box anything in here just garbage oh, got some bolts and stuff whatever that's for the washer some plugs for screws to go in a wall nothing in that one bunch of goodies in that one these individual packaging yep they are they got a little little heat shielded on there Oh, I need these washers. Why do you need those? You see how small the hole is? I'll show you. When I'm using wood screws, like deck screws, any, any, any length, because I'm putting stuff up, a normal washer, the screws go right through. Like the head of the screw goes all the way through. Oh, come on. These heads are standing. Some of these are used. Like, see? It gives it a good head. Everybody likes a little head. So, yeah, that'll work fine with that. Perfect. See that? There's already something, you know? Yeah, I needed that on there to move this little tank around because it's double doored. And it's a brute. So, yeah, there's already a bonus in here. Like I said, Two brake rotors. <clears throat> See, when I was a kid, until I was an early adult, till about I don't know, maybe thirty. So half of, half of my life ago, we used to bring those in to a machine shop, and they would turn them, and then you'd put them back on the car or truck, whatever you own. Nowadays, nobody does that. Like why? Nobody machines anything anymore, except the old school guys that are Ian Matthews' age, my age, and older. They still do a little machining of their own in their in their garage, you know. HDMI on there. Yep. She said it works. She says it'll run for a while. After about an hour, it shuts off. I know. It almost sounds like the timer. Maybe they had the timer set for an hour. <laughs> and didn't know it. Yeah, well. Anyways, I'm not going to hold you up any longer. What was this thing? The TV thingy? Bracket? Maybe? 
Yep. Wall mount for a TV. There we go. That's what this thing was. Part of it. Okay. Anyways, there you go. That's my Tuesday. Beautiful day. I got a couple more cameras up. See one there? That's direct to my phone. There's one over there, direct to my phone. They just run on hydro. They're Wi Fi. That's why they have the little antennas. I went back with the old brand that I originally used on this property when we first moved in. There's one of the old cameras there. See it? It's called the Easy Viz. E Z V I Z. E Z. Or, yeah, Viz. See? They look similar, don't they? They're bullet cameras. A little blue light on. It has nighttime colored vision and all that stuff. And they're on sale right now if you check out the website if you're interested. Uh, for I bought them as a pair. You can buy them as singles or a pair. It's cheaper to buy them as a pair because you even get a better deal. So that's why I got a pair of them up. I want to see how well they work. So I got them up installed today. They're kind of protected there. So that's what I wanted, especially that one. It's really protected. It's... I know they're within reach of anybody, but that's not the point. I just want to keep an eye on the place. And they have an SD card in them, and they record direct to my phone. So I know they're not high enough. That one ain't high enough either. Like, really, none of them are high enough. You could uh, smack them off the house, right, if you got a stick. Oh, I don't know if I can find a stick around here. <laughs> yeah, okay. There we go. Sure. Anyways. So that sold too, he wants that. My lawnmower guy texted him a picture this morning of it. Oh yeah, I take it, yep, 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 so that's good. Oh look, Ian, that thing's full. If it ain't, it's a very heavy cylinder. That thing would make a good crucible because that thing weighs about 30, 40 pounds, easy. So I'm thinking it's full, I don't know. I never tested it. It still has the pin in it. I don't know if the pin's ever been released out of it. Not sure. But uh, it, it's very, very heavy. May, might be even more than 40 pounds weight, but it's heavy steel. You can tell by the looks of it. And it's got a great big fogger. Look at that, eh? Look at the beak on that. So... Ian, come and get it. I think your stuff's hopping the pond. <laughs> so, enjoy the sunshine if you got it. We do. Have a nice day. Happy Tuesday.